Hi friends, welcome to your self-love yoga flow. This is a very nurturing, soothing vinyasa class to cultivate kindness towards ourselves, acceptance and appreciation. This is an all-level flow and you don't need any specific props. Let's get right into it. We begin our class today in a comfortable upright seat. You may want to cross the legs or sit on the heels. And just take a moment to make yourself comfortable and arrive in your posture. Finding a natural gesture for the hands, just for a moment to allow the shoulders and the arms to relax. Lengthening the spine, the back of the neck. And I invite you to either close the eyes or soften the gaze away from the screen. And just take a moment to turn your attention inwards. expressing some appreciation for taking the time to step on your mat today, spending quality time with yourself, actively taking a step towards feeling grounded, nourished. Take a couple of conscious, very gentle breaths here. And softly bringing the hands together in front of the heart, Anjali Mudra, a gesture of connecting the mind and the body. If you wish, you can set an intention for this practice, a specific quality or feeling that you want to invite today and cultivate throughout this flow. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out. Softly blink the eyes open. On the inhale, take the arms forward and then out wide to the sides. On the exhale, cross the right arm over the left one. Hug around yourself. Give yourself a bit of a squeeze as you lean forward into a rounded back. Okay. Inhale, sit back up. Open the arms out wide. And exhale, bring the left arm over the right. Once again, hugging around yourself with kindness, leaning slightly forward. We do this again. Inhale, sit up. Start to really open the front body, the shoulders. On the exhale, find that rounded cat-like shape with the back. One more time. Inhale, sit up. Open yourself up. Invite new energy in. And exhale, round and squeeze. Feel that safety here, that connection. Inhale, sit back up, take the arms out wide, and this time interlace the fingers behind the back, draw the shoulder blades together, take a big breath into your heart space. Full breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Good, release the hands, maybe roll with a bit of momentum over your feet or come over one side into a tabletop position. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, spreading the fingers out wide. And on the exhale again, finding the round cat shape in the back, chin in, tailbone down. Inhale, opening up the chest, lifting the tailbone, gently curving the back. Couple more times, making sure we get our energy going along the spine and Awaken the body softly. And today, throughout all the movements, all the poses, try and find a very non judgmental approach. Just observe the body, express gratitude for the privilege of being able to move in all these ways. And then slowly find your way back into the tabletop position and begin walking the hands forward for the posture of the heart, Anahatasana. You can let the chest melt down towards the earth. Maybe the chin will reach the ground or the forehead. And if it's far away, then just hover, feel the chest opening, the armpits. And continue that very conscious, smooth breath. Good. 
Yeah, take two more long breaths in and out of your nose if you can. And then from here, point the toes, pull the hips back till the forearms are touching the ground. Bring the hands even closer. Find a bit of leaning forward as you slide onto the belly into the cobra. Yeah, point the toes, find tops of the feet, press them down, lift the heart. And then you exhale, lower the forehead down. You do this twice more. Inhale, lifting into a small cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhale, release. One more time, inhale, cobra. Exhale, let it go. Tuck the toes under. On the inhale, press them to the knees. On the exhale, send the hips back into a child's pose. Maybe you can keep the toes tucked to keep a bit of stretch in the feet. Lifting the palms of the ground, coming into the fingertips, inviting a bit of activity, yet feeling that groundedness, that inward connection, and this posture so close to the earth. Good, and then place the palms down. Keep the toes tucked as you lift the hips up into your downward facing dog. You can take a moment to pedal out the legs, finding a bit of softness in your movement, bending the knees, stretching through the soles of the feet, the back of the legs, releasing any tension in the neck, in the jaw, bending the knees generously, accommodating for a long spine. Let those arms grow longer and stronger. One more deep breath in, full breath out. Inhale, slowly roll your way forward into a high plank. Make sure your hands are under the shoulders, toes under the heels. Take another breath in. And on the exhale, send knees, chest and chin to the ground for Ashtanga Namaskara. Inhale, slide forward once again into your cobra. And on the exhale, tuck the toes, send the hips back and up into your downward facing dog. Doing this again a bit more fluently, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin to the ground, opening the heart space. Inhale, slide forward, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Step the toes together. Inhale, reach the right leg up for three-legged dog. On the exhale, take a big step forward. You can come into the fingertips if necessary. Bring the left knee down, reach the arms up for Anjaniyasana, low lunge. And on the exhale, sit a bit lower. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, open the arms up wide to the side as we did in the beginning. Good. Inhale, create more space. Exhale, hug around yourself. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Once again, inhale, open up the arms. Cross the arms the other way around and hug and squeeze. Good. Inhale, open up the arms to the side. And exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back, as we did when we were sitting. Lift the heart a bit higher, full breath in. Full breath out. One more inhale. Exhale. To release, bring the arms up, inhale. Exhale, bring the hands down, frame the front foot, release the left knee. Inhale, step into your plank pose. And exhale with or maybe without the knees. Now lower in one piece all the way down, slowly. Point the toes, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step the feet together, left leg up, inhale. Big step forward, exhale. Right knee down, inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, open the arms wide to the side. Inhale here, create space. Exhale, hug around yourself with kindness. Good. Inhale, open up one more time. Exhale, hug around. Try and switch out the arms. Good. Inhale, open the arms. Exhale, interlace one finger further behind the back. Lift the hard, big breath in. Releasing breath out. One more, inhale, exhale, inhale, sweep the arms up, very guided movements, no rush, exhale, bring them down, 
plank pose inhale step back exhale lower all the way or maybe half for chaturanga dandasana it's an option inhale choose your cobra as before or up dog and exhale come into your downward facing dog take a breath in and a breath out look forward on the inhale walk your way all the way to the top of the mat you can bend the knees as much as necessary and on the exhale fold all the way down over your legs inhale come with the hands into the shins or onto the fingertips long back and exhale once again soften forward one more inhale half forward fold and exhale let it go we come to standing bend the knees a little take the arms over side big movement gaze up exhale hands together in front of the heart inhale sweep the arms up upward salute exhale soft knees fold all the way down inhale half lift long back exhale step into your plank pose and lower down or go straight into your down dog you have all these options it's your self-love flow what do you need more movement or more moments of stillness let's take a breath in in the downward facing dog and a breath out starting with the left leg inhale reach it up exhale big step forward in between the hands standing up for high lunge sweep the arms up exhale open arms and hips for warrior two long spine inhale sit a bit lower as you exhale inhale exhale good inhale bring the arms up straight in the front leg exhale turn all toes out and sit low open the arms in a cactus shape if you need adjust your feet for goddess stance sweep the arms up straight in the legs inhale Bend arms and legs, find that goddess stance again. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up, straighten the legs. And exhale, bend. Good. Stay here, squeeze the pelvic floor up. Just take a moment in the strong posture, full of appreciation for the body. No judgment. Big breath in. Soft breath out. Good. Inhale, straighten arms and legs. And exhale, bring your hands into the hips, turn the toes to point forward. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, bend the knees to fall forward about halfway. Fingertips can come under the shoulders. Good. Inhale, reach the heart a bit further. Forward leg, half forward fold. And exhale, fold all the way down. Bring some weight towards the toes, balls of the feet. Knees can be soft. And it doesn't matter where your hands land. Just focus on the energetical aspect of the energy flowing towards your head, towards your heart. Allowing for calming, long breaths. Good. And then slowly walk the fingertips back underneath the shoulders. Turn all toes to the top of the mat. Walk the hands all the way forward to frame the front foot and bring the right knee down. Low lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, soften the shoulders. One more inhale, rising higher. Exhale, fingertips down to the ground. Palms all the way down. Inhale into your plank pose. There's an option to do this on one leg for those who practice this. And exhale, lowering your way down to the mat. Inhale, choose your back bend, your heart opener. And exhale, your down dog. Right leg, inhale up into the air. Big step forward as you exhale. High lunge as you inhale. Warrior two as you exhale. Check your front knee. Inhale, grow taller. Exhale, sit a bit lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Good. And you bring the arms up, straighten the front leg. Exhale, turn the toes up. Find goddess stance. Good. I'll turn around to the camera for this. You stay. Inhale once again, straighten the legs and the arms. And exhale, bend everything. One more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, find those cactus arms. Now stay strong in the goddess pose. Breathing in. Breathing out. Turning back for the last breath in. And out. Good. Inhale, straighten arms and legs. Exhale, turn the toes in, hands into the hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, slowly fold forward into your forward fold. Once again, finding those long breaths. And then finding the half forward fold shape again. Walking the hands all the way to the top of your mat. This will be the right foot now. Left knee comes down. Inhale, sweep the arms up for low lunge. Stay for your exhale. One more, inhale, exhale, land the hands down. Find your plank pose variation and either find your flow or go straight into your downward facing dog. This is where we meet. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Good. Slowly bring the knees down to the mat. Keep the toes tucked as you pull the hips back to sit on the heels. Bring your left hand onto the left heel and on your inhale, push the hips forward. Sweep the right arm in a half circle into your half camel. You don't have to go very far. On the exhale, slowly come back down, land the right hand. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And on the exhale, come back down. Any clicking is fine. My knees usually click in the first round. On the inhale, lift the heart. On the exhale, come back and do this in your own rhythm and within a shape that feels good for the body. It's a bit of a dancing camel pose. Maybe just one more time on each side. Good. And as you arrive back the next time, no rushing getting there, keep both hands on the heels, or if this was already challenging, rather keep your hands on the low back. We're pushing the hips forward once again, opening the chest. And if you chose to have the hands on the hips, then squeeze the shoulder blades and push the heart forward. No need to compress the low back. Wherever you are, lift the heart really nice and high. And breathe into the front body. Two more courageous deep breaths. And then slowly bringing the hips back, sitting upright on the heels. Just untucking the toes, but resting the hands back in the lap and taking a moment to feel all the energy flowing through the body. Either close the eyes or soften the gaze. If you find yourself drifting off in the mind, just come back to your intention. Come back to the breath. And then slowly open the eyes. We'll sit next to the heels. Hips go over to the right. So you're sitting next to your heels. Twist your upper body towards the shins. Grab a hold of the shin or the thigh wherever you reach and lift the heart. Now keep the body the way it is, only bring the head back towards the right so you have that soft double twisting action in the spine. It's a very beautiful, dignified posture. Just take a couple of breaths. And 
And then slowly bring the head back to center, bring the upper body back to center, and with the help of your hands, move on over to the second side. Sit to the left side of your heels, twist the upper body to the right, use your hands for support to really sit nice and tall and lift the heart, and then only bring the head back towards the left shoulder for this double twist. Soft gaze, soft breath. And then slowly bring the head back to center, the upper body back to center. And from here, just swing your legs around so you arrive in a seated position. Good. You can bounce the backs of the knees against the ground a couple of times, releasing any tension. And then bringing the feet closer, bringing the soles of the feet together, grabbing around the shins, taking a breath in, lengthening the spine. And on the exhale, softly folding forward. No need to push or to pull. Rather keeping the spine long, taking a few breaths here. Good. And then slowly sit back upright. Use your hands for help to bring the knees together. Slide the heels away, but keep the knees bend a little. For a soft forward fold, bring the belly onto the thighs, either hold the feet, the shins, or just rest the hands down. Soften the head forward, no pushing, no pulling. It's a very gentle, soothing forward fold. You may want to close the eyes. And just take some long breaths here. And then to release the pose, you may want to press the hands into the ground to sit up in a gentle way, bring the feet onto the ground and scooting towards the center of the mat so you can lay down in a very gentle way from here. And then bring the knees up to the chest, hug around the shins, give yourself a big, big squeeze, maybe pulling the knees rhythmically up to the chest a couple of times, lengthening the low back. And just take a moment to feel into the body, maybe massaging the low back against the ground from side to side. And then either hold the ankles, maybe the outer edges of the feet, or also the back of the thighs to pull the knees down into your happy baby. This posture in Sanskrit is called Ananda Balasana, and Ananda translates to bliss. So just lift the corners of your mouth a little. Let the feeling of appreciation grow once again. Good. Then go ahead and see if there's any other final movement that your body needs for any kind of release or balance. And then just for a moment, stretch out on the mat, giving a lot of space to the arms and to the legs for our final relaxation, making sure we let go of any active doing, controlling or thinking, taking a deep breath in through the nose, sighing it out through the mouth, and then just allowing the breath to flow naturally for a few moments of deep rest. And slowly begin to deepen the breath again. 
gently moving the fingers, the toes, and gradually awaken the body. Some wrist circles, some ankle circles. Maybe some deeper breaths here. And bending the knees, rolling onto one side. Keep your eyes closed and give yourself a gentle and kind, loving hug in this position. Just observing how you feel. Expressing gratitude once again for taking the time for your practice, for your body, for your health, and the life that flows through you. And softly finding your way back up, maybe with the help of your hands, sitting with the legs crossed just to finalize. Bringing the palms back together in Anjali Mudra once again. Taking one last nourishing breath together in through the nose. Out through the mouth. When you're ready, you can softly open the eyes. Thank you so much for joining me for this class. I hope you feel nourished, relaxed, and connected to yourself. Please let me know what you thought about this flow and have a little look at the description box. I have some beautiful yoga retreats coming up and lots of videos for you. So stay around, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next video.